Hello, and welcome to our quick tutorial on the cow evaluation method. By the end of this video, you'll know what the cow evaluation is and how to use it to check if sources are reliable. Let's dive in. Cow stands for credentials, claims, objectives, and worldview. This approach encourages you to dig deeper and actively investigate the credibility of the information you encounter. Let's dive into each element and see how you can use them to evaluate information effectively. The first element to investigate is the credentials of whoever created the information. It is all about checking if the author or organization is qualified to speak on the topic. Start by googling the author to review their background and expertise. Does the author have relevant experience, advanced degrees, or work in the field? What type of organization is publishing this information? Is it a university, nonprofit, or an advocacy group? Consider their purpose and how it might influence the content. And don't forget to see if others are questioning their reliability. Credentials matter because they tell us whether the source has the authority to give accurate information. Once you have a good idea about whether the author or creator of a piece of information is reliable, the next step is to investigate the claims they are making. Is the information they are providing accurate? Is the information presented current and up to date? Credible researchers share citations and sources for their claims. Is there a bibliography, citations, or links to back up each claim or argument? Just don't accept claims that research says something. Verify the research trail yourself. In addition, multiple experts in the topic should be consulted and their viewpoints should be compared to assess whether the claims are well-supported or questionable. Cross-checking multiple expert opinions and following the research trail gives you a clearer view of the information's reliability. The next step is to investigate their objectives. What did they hope to accomplish by creating the information? Was it meant to inform, persuade, or sell something? Information can serve various purposes. Academic work aims to broaden understanding. Advertisements seek to sell. Satirical sites entertain. Malicious sites deceive. And partisan pieces persuade or reassure. Understanding their purpose helps you find potential biases or hidden agenda behind the information. Ask yourself why this information was created and consider how it might affect its trustworthiness. Finally, let's discuss worldview, which means understanding the perspective of the source. First, consider where the information is coming from. Everyone has a worldview that shapes their interpretation of information. Recognizing this helps you see why others might view things differently without assuming they are wrong. For example, a Western researcher might focus on Western perspective on mental health, missing valuable non-Western insights. This can skew the understanding of mental health. Second, reflect on your own worldview. When you strongly react to information, ask if your response is based on the information's quality or your own bias. To effectively investigate information, you must also examine your own reactions. For instance, if you've had a good experience with the technology, you might favor sources that praise it while ignoring critical reviews. Remember, some sources may be flat out biased and not worth your time, but try not to leap to that conclusion just because they disagree with you. Evaluating sources means understanding different perspectives and checking your own bias for a more balanced view. In summary, using Cal helps you critically evaluate the quality and reliability of information. Check credentials for credibility, evaluate claims by investigating their research trail, understand objectives to gauge intent, and consider worldview to understand different perspectives. If you have any questions about Cal, feel free to reach out to our friendly librarians by using the 24-7 library chat button on the homepage of the library website or emailing ask at snhu.libanswers.com. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your research.